The overall importance is it's a reinvestment into our city so that our city can continue to grow and prosper. Millions of dollars are on the line and its fate is in the hands of the people who live in Shreveport. Thank you for joining us. I'm Alexandra Meacham. These citizens of Shreveport will have a big decision to make this December. Fox 33 is your local election headquarters. The 2021 bond proposal will be on the ballot. It asks for $236 million to fund essential city services and more. We took a tour of the three main areas that would be addressed. We don't need to be drinking out of this, and this is very susceptible to breaking whenever we experience cold temperatures like what we saw. Shreveport Mayor Adrian Perkins says Shreveport desperately needs to upgrade its water, sewer, and drainage system. The city's director points to leaking equipment that's only getting worse. If this leak becomes much worse, then it will be a real problem for us and for the citizens for us to get this fixed. Proposition 3 would allocate $64 million for water, sewer, and drainage repairs. Mayor Perkins says this bond proposal differs from 2019's. We've experienced a winter storm where a majority of our citizens, some went without water for 11 days. We've experienced an uptick in crime, and we know we need to invest in our water and sewer system, and we know we need to invest in public safety heavily. The substitute police chief, Wayne Smith, shows us around police headquarters, where the building is literally falling apart. Safety has it. Just imagine what, you know, a hundred, a hundred feet to two hundred pound uh, piece of granite that fall off the building if someone is walking beneath it. Recently, we've had to abandon this room. That's why you see the, the plywood up there. And let me explain to you why. Because water getting in the building. Parts of the commode is laying down on the floor. So that means that commode doesn't work. And that's just the tip of the iceberg inside the building where police officers work that was purchased by the city in 1956. Outdated technology, the infrastructure is crumbling unbelievable. Uh, each time I go through the building, I see more and more damage. I feel so so bad for my offices. The bond proposal asks for $69 million for public safety improvements, with $27 million for a new police headquarters, and $24 million for the fire department. Catastrophic uh, major failures. That's how substitute fire chief John Lane describes the old equipment, how decades old fire trucks may not start and might break down before they get to someone's house fire. As a fire chief, my greatest concern is, am I going to be able to meet the mission? Am I going to be able to service our citizens? Also, some of the fire stations are lacking. It was not built uh, with uh, female firefighters uh, in mind. There were none at that point in time. Mayor Perkins says the best way to help the city is through the bond proposal. Remember last February, whenever you're out there, remember how much pain this city went through because of our antiquated water and sewer system. This gives us an opportunity to invest in it. Remember the roads that you drive down every day that's messed up cars, that's messing up city equipment every day. Remember what's going on right now when it comes to violent crime. We're seeing historic rates of violent crime. We have to make investments if we want to change. Now, this is only a small portion of what we could show you of what the police, fire, and water departments are facing. We have a detailed breakdown of the bond proposal on our website, ArlettexHomePage.com. Another difference in this bond proposal compared to the last is that each proposition is separate from one another. Election Day is December 11th.